Did you know that Norway is the number one country in the world with the highest number of electric vehicles per capita? Norway is the absolute leader and has gone far ahead in comparison with other countries. Good morning, good morning friends. Uh, started here, we are flying to the um, Norway this morning and I'm in the Riga airport. We just parked our car and walking to the uh, departure area. We are flying to Oslo, uh, Norway today, and uh, we are going to spend a weekend driving through the Norway. We don't know where, we have a very short time, but we're gonna enjoy it. All right. In December 2021, Norway became the first country to have 23 out of every 100 passenger cars electric vehicles. In 2021, almost 8 out of 10 new passenger cars sold in Norway were fully electric. And if you add all the cars behind the batteries, the so-called hybrids, then the figure will increase to 95%. The Scandinavian country aims to have every new car on the road fully electric by 2025. We flew to Norway for two days and decided to rent an electric car, take a ride around the country and find out how the system works. We were offered a Polestar 2 that we had never heard of before. So we are in Norway, and I saw the same, but it's electrical car, the electrical car, the inside of Norway, and we are going to enjoy it. I think it's Yeah, it's a very interesting car. Oh, very comfortable. I'm going to put my backpack, and uh, I believe I will take a jacket, and let's start our journey. Let's go. To fjords and to enjoy Norway. Even if a little bit cloudy but it's gonna be great two-day weekend a three-day weekend well, tonight. I think the weather is beautiful <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go inside uh, our electrical car and we have beautiful large sunroof here probably it's charging I don't know and uh, ready to go yeah Mike? yeah I'm getting ready I'm oh you are charging, just, or what uh, charging no I'm just examining the car make sure I know where uh -huh. everything is okay you know, it's a pretty fancy car. Okay, Avis. We have a big screen here. Something like a Tesla. We are in the car and Mick is gonna drive around and, you know, he's learning how to drive full electrical car. There are no engine sound, almost no sound. And all instructions are in Norwegian. <laughs> right. That's our big problem. That's our big problem. Because, because it's because nothing like any other language. Yes, that's true. And we are going to drive right now to the, Here's the administrator uh, to ask maybe for settings in English. We had to drive up to the Avis company, which gave us the car for rent, and ask to make the settings in English. This gentleman was very helpful and he came to the car and set up English language for yes. us. You can even connect your phone if you want to. Yes, and your own music and just enjoy. Let's drive to Bergen. Have you set up? Uh, no, I haven't set up. But then we should. Bergen on Zee, I'm thinking that means... Uh, you see, this is going to be right. our road if we can make it. Add charging stuff. 488 kilometers with uh, seven and a half hours, hours of driving yeah. but i'm not sure we will get all of that but at least we will try so let's go in this film we are driving from saint Fjord airport towards the city of bergen crossing norway across
But carefully, because I'm not familiar with this car yet. Okay, car is adjusted, and we are on the way. Take a look at this sunroof we have. <laughs> yeah, sunroof more like a skyroof, and you see all oh, yeah. the sky. I wonder what the speed the limits car. are. The speed, speed limit right now is under 90. We don't know the Norway rules, but uh, I told Mick just drive 90. I don't think there is like less than 90 on Maybe those it's one of those countries roads. where there's no speed limit. You can just pass people <laughs> yeah, and go flying. as fast as you sure. want. <laughs> nice for us here. Yeah, and quality of the road is very nice and 50 sign, beautiful landscapes. Like Latvia, it's probably still yeah. 50. What did you tell about Norway being the electrical car country? It's, you read the, something. it's the EV capital of the world. Why? More, more people drive electronic vehicles here and... Than in any other country of the world. That's the, what we oh, yeah. read in the internet. Yeah, and if you drive a gas car here, you pay very high prices for toll roads. Because they want to discourage people from driving gas cars. Okay, but we are driving 100% electrical and stations are made nicely here. How do you feel, Nick? I'm impressed. The freeway system here is top notch. There's not a bump in the road. Everything is well taken care of. It's clearly a very rich country and they take really good care of their roads. There's Harman Kart. Very expensive speakers. Good. Yeah, uh, when we were renting the car, I was telling the girl there, I said, you know, we were talking about Vikings coming from Norway to Latvia to steal wives. And I said, well, you know, occasionally uh, Latvians will come to Norway to steal wives too. She goes, that's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> 70. Cup of coffee. coffee. Circle K has good coffee. Uh, yeah, probably also in Norway. We will try. Going what? from the other side there. What do you do? Yes, with the back, I think. That's our first experience to charge electrical cars in Norway. And we are trying to understand how we do that. But we see the car next to us, BMW, also charging. He's kind of parked into our... Uh, area too. To support a network of more than 480,000 electric vehicles, there are currently almost 17,000 charging stations throughout Norway, including more than 3,000 fast ones. And you won't have to travel more than 30 miles to find the nearest fast charging point. Fast charging stations have been installed on every major road in the country. For comparison, as of the end of 2021, there were 2 million electric vehicles in the United States and somewhere around 110,000 electric stations, of which there were only 6,000 fast charging stations for electric vehicles. Norwegians buy different electric cars, of course mostly the most popular proven brands. Polestar is a new self-sufficient brand of premium electric sports cars. Derived from Volvo, Polestar became a brand in its own right with the launch of its first hybrid sports car. The newly minted brand quickly switched to the production of electric cars, rolling out its new Polestar 2 on the green field, on which we swept around Norway. Production began in March 2020 
at the Lukwao Super Factory in China. The electric fastback Polestar 2 that we rented is the first and foremost an electric car with high aerodynamic characteristics. The ambitious dream of the Polestar 2 is to compete with the Tesla Model 3. The advantage of the Polestar 2 is that the electric hatchback comes with the built-in Google services, including Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play Store. There is a voice control function and 360 degrees camera. With the Polestar Connect mobile application, the car turns on as soon as the driver gets into the electric car. The price of this electric car is around $60,000 or euros. The main thing is that the Polestar has a powerful transmission. The battery capacity is 78 kilowatt hours and the maximum range is up to 470 kilometers. Polestar 2 accelerates to 100 kilometers in less than 5 seconds. The battery pack of the Polestar 2 is formed from 27 modules built into the floor. Due to this stability of the chassis is achieved and the level of noise and the vibration in the cabin is reduced. The electric fastback is controlled by two displays 11.1 and 12.3 inch drivers display. In the equipment, LED optics, digital tidy, panoramic roof, heated steering wheel and seats, 360 degree cameras, adaptive cruise and Herman Kardon audio system. Hey, so, Nick got me coffee and pastry. And coffee is really tasty and pastry even better. It's like, you know, they sell Danish like that. I believe all Scandinavian countries have that. Oh, good. Enjoy. Yeah, I don't know why, but Circle K in foreign countries is much better than Circle K in America. <laughs> Go figure. How do you enjoy that? I love it. Yeah, it's very tasty, huh? It's very, very similar or even better than Latvian pastries. And I'm very surprised. I love it. Norway has set itself the goal of phasing out sales of internal combustion engines by 2025. The Scandinavian nation is in the first place thanks to years of high-yield government incentives to boost electric vehicle sales. Norway's success story is primarily due to a substantial package of incentives designed to push the market for zero emission vehicles. Why are there so many electric cars in Norway? The government has high taxes on the sale of new polluting vehicles, but doesn't tax electric vehicles at all, making electric vehicles which are more expensive due to production costs a competitive and attractive option. Sales of electric vehicles are on the rise. In just one year their number has more than doubled, from 3 million sold worldwide in 2020 to 6.6 .6 million in 2021. But this growth is far from uniform across the world. A handful of countries lead. The countries with the highest per capita if ownership as of 2020 are Norway, Iceland, Sweden, the Netherlands and California. China leads in sales, followed by Germany, Europe and the United States of America. Yeah, I love backing up in this car. It's amazing. I've never felt more comfortable backing up in any car. It's like a video game. In two days, we drove about 1300 kilometers across the country. In my videos, I will not only share our experience of using an electric vehicle, but also show what you can see in Norway in two days. 
watch my next videos about how we traveled around Norway on an electric fastback. Like and subscribe to my channel. After watching my video, consider whether it's time for you to buy an electric vehicle. Your Sparklet.